Have you ever wondered if you can apply Caesar HDV to a hat or how you would properly apply Caesar transfers to that cap? Well, I'm Joe with Caesar North America and welcome to another episode of the Decoration Zone. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to properly apply various Caesar heat transfer vinyls to these great caps using the cap press. Stick around. The answer to the question is yes, you can apply Caesar HDV to the hat, but the trick is to properly apply them to a hat. Now, have you ever tried applying Caesar HDV to a hat this way? So did you give up after that? Well, let me show you how to properly apply Caesar HTV to a hat using the cap press. The cap press has the three big elements you need to apply Caesar HTV. Time, temperature, and pressure. If you want to find out more detail about this cap press, check this video out after this one. So today we're going to be applying on a few snapback caps that we got from our awesome friends at Sanmar. And I'm going to be using Caesar Brick 600 White, some Easy Reflective, some Pink Strip Flock, and some Flamingo Pink Glitter. So before you get to the production side with your Caesar HTV, it's good to look over the hat you're working on and see the surface space you're going to be applying to. Each hat may be a little bit different. So that may determine which Caesar heat transfer vinyl you're gonna use. Now, for example, with this six panel hat, and when I say six panels, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six panels to it. It does have the seam down the middle. Now the seam you can apply over with Caesar HTV, but you wanna remember if you're working with a thinner product like anything in the Easy Weed family, you don't want any thin attributes going over that seam. So this is something you want to remember in your art setup. And if you're working with a five panel hat or even a trucker cap like this, you don't have to deal with that seam getting in the way. So this way you don't have any restrictions on your art setup. All right, so onto the first application, we're gonna be applying Caesar Brick 600 White to this trucker cap. So I have my cap press set up to 320 degrees. My pressure's at a medium pressure, and I'm gonna be set to 20 seconds, because with the brick, I have to apply all at the top. I can't flip it inside out. So this is gonna be the way I need it in order to get that bond. So the first thing I'm gonna do is line up my cap onto the press, and lock that down. Make sure my pressure's good. I'm all good there. Now. With Caesar Brick 600, it does not have a sticky backing. So what I like to do to make sure that my transfer stays in place is use a little bit of heat tape. So I'm gonna apply two small pieces of heat tape to my Brick 600 transfer. I'm gonna lay this over pressing area. I'm use my cover sheet. And I'm gonna press this for the full 20 seconds. All right. So Brick 600 is a cold peel, so I'm gonna bump it up against the table to speed that process up, or you can set it aside and keep going on for the next one. Just cool that down. And the big reveal. Yes. Look at that. All right, let's keep going. All right, so we're on to our next project. So again, I'm gonna be working with a six panel cap here. So I do have the seam going down the center. So my first portion of my design, I'm gonna be using strip flock. But here, 
I know that the center of my design is thick enough to go over the seam of this cap. Lock that in place. Press this for about 10 seconds. Now strip flock is a cold peel, so I'm going to wait till this cools off to peel the carrier. Peel that. Dusty table. All right, now we're going to lay our next layer, which is the flamingo pink glitter. Press this for another 10 seconds. Now you can peel hot peel on the glitter. Phase one, here we are. Pretty sweet. Now, next I want to decorate the side of the cap. So again, I'm going to be going over another seam. So with the cap press, I'm going to set it up on to the platen the same way I did the front, but with the side and making sure that my snap back is not exposed to the heat. The strip flock pink. And press that for 10 seconds. Cold peel. There you go. Now, I'm going to get super edgy and do a design across the top of the back. Set this up the same way. Make sure that my buckle on the back is not exposed to the heat. Very important. That will melt. Lock this down into place. Now, I have both my flamingo pink and pink strip flock heat taped together. So this is one transfer, technically, but two transfers into one. So I can press this all at one time. Press for 10 seconds. Wait till that cools off. And there you have it. Alright, so for the last project, I'm going to work with another six panel hat that has a seam down the center, and I'm going to be using Caesar Easy Reflective. Now, Easy Reflective is very thin, and I have this design so it goes over that seam, but the way I made it is it's thick enough to go over the seam seamlessly. So let's get started. Press for about 10 to 15 seconds. There you 
have it. So we've decorated pretty much every side of a six panel hat. Ideas are flowing. Let's, let's decorate the bill. So I'm going to use this transfer of Easy Reflective lay it down on the bill of the hat and I'm going to apply it with a home iron. Now if you wanted the bill or didn't mind the bill getting bent, you could use it on the cap press. But since we want to keep it flat, you can use a home iron or even a heat press. So I have my home irons good to go. Now make sure you apply good pressure when you're pressing down. And that's all it takes to personalize a hat with a cap press and Caesar HTV. Be sure to check out that video on our YouTube channel that shows everything about the Caesar Red heat presses. If you want to find out more about Caesar HTV or this cap press, contact your authorized Caesar distributor, or you can reach out to us at infocesarna.com. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that bell for all the latest Caesar video notifications. And I'll see you all next time.